gives you the opportunity for Syriza to show that there is another way of doing things. Uh, and there are maybe, there may be, uh, is another way for Europe as well. Now, in this uh, agreed list of reforms, the, the, there, <laughs> there we have the half of the Salonika program of reforms. Some say this is the, the old memorandum. It's not. It, it not. demonstrably isn't. Um, don't forget that it's only for the next four months. So, of course, it's gonna, not going to be all the, all the complete Syriza program. It's about half of it, or one third. Um, now, built in this list, because um, anyone can read it in different ways. Uh, many people can read it di differently. The, the word is the word is creative ambiguity, I believe, from Varoufakis. Yes, creative or constructive ambiguity. Now, this constructive ambiguity serves, in my view, two purposes. The first is there are no specific numerical targets because a country is not a company. Okay, things go as predicted. Some. Uh, uh, some things go as predicted, other things don't. And the finance minister Varoufakis said to the to the Eurogroup, "Well, I want to I want to make promises that I can keep because uh, Greece needs to regain its credibility. And how can I regain credibility if I promise something that I, I cannot deliver? Because I'm not a, it's a it's a country, it's not a company. And the second purpose, I think, uh, is that it leaves space for." Um, stretching or of the interpretations so right. that okay. so that mr schäuble for example can pass it through the, the parliament uh, having uh, the rhetoric by the famous the infamous uh, newspaper build now uh, i uh, today uh, tsipras has announced the legislative initiatives uh, that will come to Parliament, uh, voted and passed into law during uh, next week. And there are four in, uh, legislative initiatives. Let me tell you a bit uh, about this. Four uh, bills. Four bills. First, uh, food and electricity for 300,000 households, as promised. Housing, a housing program for uh, 30,000 homeless families, as promised. The second bill, um, includes the clearance of debts owed to the public. It will include a haircut on debts that cannot be repaid and a, a kind of settlement, a up to 100 month plan to repay the rest in, in such a way that the installments represent a certain small percentage of the taxpayer's income so, so that he, can, he and his family can survive with their remaining income. Uh, such an agreement is also coming during the next weeks for debts to the banks. So that's the second one. The third one is a, more, a complete moratorium on foreclosures uh, on the on primary residence. And the fourth uh, is uh, for the old public television uh, reinstituted all um, employees hired back and those kind of things. Right. Now, measures that are delayed. Uh, during these four months, let's not forget it's, it, it, the deal is about four months. Uh, the first is uh, the reinstitution of the tax-free income bracket. There's nothing about that. Um, there used to be a tax-free income bracket uh, for small incomes. Uh, of course, um, gone under the IMF uh, policy, and they're not reinstituting that right now. Uh, the second one is the restoration of the minimum wage to where it was three years ago. This is very important and I'm, I'm not happy about that, about that, but it will be delayed for maybe a year or more, um, or at least for these four months. The third uh, uh, delayed uh, bill is, um, not bill, the, the subject is the haircut of the public debt. Uh, it's, it's part of the negotiations anyway, uh, beginning from this point on. Um, although the Speaker of the Parliament is putting together an audit committee for the public debt, um, I don't know if this will help, but it certainly is a step in the right direction. Also, the Finance Minister, of course, says 
clearly, you know, in every way that the debt is not viable. It's not, uh, we cannot uh, um, service this debt. It has to, something has to be done. But it's, it, needs to, it needs to be part of the negotiation. And um, the main thing, the fourth thing that is delayed, in my view, the, is the big thing. Is there's everything that has to do with economic growth and jobs. There's nothing on that front. Um, but again, this this is a four months of uh, making some reforms to stabilize the country, stabilize the economy. And we, during these four months, there has to be a negotiation for growth and jobs and jobs programs for the entire continent. Uh, I mean. We don't we don't have the means anyway to finance any uh, any of the any uh, job program or this has to be this has to be passed through the central bank. Michael, why don't you stay for one second? We just have a come to the second hour of World Crisis Radio. Here it's Friday, the twenty seventh of uh, of February. Now we got a couple of more minutes left with Michael Chiotinas in uh, in Athens. Michael, I have to ask you uh, every international cable um, TV program uh, that I've seen is playing up the fact that a group estimated by them at 450, but it looks to me like black block anarchists have burned some cars and smashed up some uh, some shop windows there in, in Athens. And then we also have this chorus of ultra lefts. The, the, the Russians showed a filmmaker who says this is no good. And of course, we've got uh, Max Kaiser uh, with personal insults to Varoufakis. I was surprised. And and Kaiser whining that this was a kowtow to Merkel. This is coming from somebody who whose only question is, you know, the question I would ask him is, are you short the euro, right? Are you, are you trying to advance your own investments with this hysterical uh, panic uh, uh, propaganda? Yes, of course. Those are people investing to the, in, in the breakup of the euro. Um, many political forces have invested in this, and there is a part, a small part of Syriza that has invested in the breakup of the euro, uh, or at least uh, uh, Brexit. Uh, they support the government, but they they they, they believe that we might have uh, a greater uh, freedom of choice of a policy under a new national currency. But the fact is, the Varoufakis line is respected for now. And the thing is, the thing is with the Varoufakis, he says, we shouldn't think like Greeks. We should think like Europeans. And in my view, that's a correct view. Uh, we have now we have um, we had today a demonstration, peaceful demonstration by um, the KKE, the Communist Party of Greece. I I didn't I didn't even see this uh, this thing you were saying about the anarchists. There's, there were a couple of cars destroyed in a notorious neighborhood for this kind of uh, activity. Uh, nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's part of everyday life, <laughs> in, in in a way. There may be ten people or twenty people uh, going around smashing things. They cra- They may be crazy. There may be um, ideologues or. Um, this to me, this looked like a photo opportunity organized by NATO intelligence. That's what I. Yes. Could yes. Uh, double agents. Uh, giving um, f- f- uh, fanaticizing some ideologues and having a few uh, ten or twenty crazies. The, the, it's really overrated. Not o- just overrated. It's ridiculous. It's simply ridiculous. The the main thing is the Communist Party had a demonstration today, a fair demonstration, not not, not in the way that. Um, that Syriza is not the people that Syriza can uh, summon, but some people, and they demand 
I don't know, the, the, the complete change of everything that has, done, that has been done during the past five years, it can be done in five days. It's five years. It's five years. Let me, uh, let me just, what we discussed uh, off the air, right? You, the, the monumental, right, the classic example of a transformation is Franklin D. Roosevelt's 100 days. Hey, 100 days is three months and a week or even more, right? So the, the New Deal was too slow. Hey, it took three months. And now these people are out there whining. They're just, it's, that is infantile leftism, an infantile disorder. Yeah, so also, also we have, for the big things to, to set in, we maybe have to wait until the autumn. In, um, we have to wait until fall to, uh, for, for some other um, countries to change government. That, and that's what I wanted to ask you. Um, do you have any idea who might be next? I'm looking maybe at Portugal. Is there a possibility there? Spain? They, that might change too, but unfortunately, we have that answer from Iglesias where he says he really does not support 